Here, we design, create, and assess the efficacy of multimedia games. For example, in virtual reality, we've just released our Catch a Mimic game in three new languages. The game instructs middle through high school students in natural selection. It is embodied because players swing a virtual net to catch non-poisonous butterflies as they learn about mimicry. It's available in the Oculus Store, but can also be played on 2D on any computer with the following link. Recent research supports that those who play in the high-embodied VR version learned more than those who played in the low-embodied PC version. In 2D and augmented reality, the lab has several published educational games on a range of STEM topics, including nutrition, physics, and psychology for high school and university level learners. All games are free. Our latest game simulation is called the COVID Safety Sim. It can be played on a laptop or in augmented reality with a phone or tablet. An example of how AR, augmented reality, can help make the unseen be seen is an app called Magna AR. We have been working with that with Vieira software on an NSF grant. It is supported on all newer phones and this app shows how the magnetic field surrounds objects in the world. Finally, we are excited about working with ASU's Learning Futures Collaboratory. Our focus is on careers of the future. One career game we're building is for engineers, and it's called Attuned Mass Damper. It will help students and learners understand how they can help tall buildings withstand natural disasters. In this VR game, students can start typhoons by blowing into a microphone or earthquakes by shaking the VR hand controllers and then they can understand the physics behind the dampers that help buildings become stable. At the Embodied Games Lab, we also run the FEVER group, the Future of Education in Virtual and Augmented Reality meetup that happens once a month. So we invite all of you to come and be part of that. Thank you.